Well, what's going on there, folks? Thanks for checking in again here on this wonderful Monday night. It is the Earthmaster back here. The date today, still out here along the West Coast, June 12th, 2023, uh, about 10, 12 p.m. here along the West Coast in the state of California. Latest activity shows a 1.3 into the Southern California area. Also know some movement south here along the plate boundary, just into the Baja California area with a 4.0 earlier uh, this afternoon. Nothing shown up yet uh, from the USGS map. Uh, so we'll continue to watch that, uh, this area. A lot of times we'll see uh, movement work its way up the plate boundary following activity down south here. So we'll keep Southern California there in the uh, area. Let's see what else we got here. Not a whole lot through the Pacific Northwest. Let's give a quick glance at the trimmer map here tonight across the Cascadia with 57 epicenters of trimmer. Not that big of a deal. Uh, dwindling down, it appears. Uh, throughout the Yellowstone area and areas to the west here in the Idaho, mostly uh, some microquakes. We did have a 3.7 coming in near the Chalice, Idaho area. That was earlier this morning, about 5.30 or so. Uh, for the most part, though, the states out here look fairly quiet. Not seeing a whole lot of movement currently taking place right now. Uh, as we look at the broader view out here, it looks like activity picking up around the Puerto Rico region. This is the uh, Puerto Rico Trench up here. A couple twos and some threes within the last hour or so. Uh, watch that for some further movement. Down south here into the South America region, a uh, handful of earthquakes. Doesn't look like too much activity though, mostly smaller quakes. Uh, but the Caribbean plate here looking uh, very active here about Puerto Rico. Um, Puerto Rico area here on this area of the um, plate boundary. And then also over here along the middle of America Trench. So things are uh, getting squeezed there, so to speak, around the Caribbean plate. Uh, looking at the rest of the map here, it looks a little quiet. Notice the Western Pacific here is toning down on earthquakes. Not a whole lot of newer quake activity. Uh, what is left is a 4.8 here along the Java Trench and uh, a 3.0 over here just off the uh, Philippines area. That's about the latest movement here in this area. Not a whole lot uh, throughout the Fiji area or the Tonga region. Looks like New Zealand had a 3.1. Let's run over to the uh, New Zealand site here real quick and check out the earthquakes. Uh, I'm going to make this kind of a quick update here. I got some showers and thunderstorms coming my way uh, currently as we speak. Um, I'd love to see some lightning. It'll make for a, a beautiful day. 3.0 or a beautiful night. 3.0 here. Um, North Island, New Zealand area about five hours or so ago. Uh, far as the earthquake drums go, we'll take a quick glance here and see what we have. That's uh, beyond five hours. I'm guessing that's going to be the three-pointer right about here. There's that error. I'm not for sure what this is again. Uh, showing up on a couple of these seismograph stations. Movement from last night, of course. Uh, but for the most part, it looks like recent activity is kept to a minimum. A little activity here onto the uh, seismograph station here, it looks like, on the South Island area. But uh, for the most part, things are generally quiet down there in New Zealand right now. The Big Island of Hawaii, about the same. Continuing to see uh, activity across Kilauea Volcano, but no major movement taking place up there right now far as earthquake activity goes, the Alaska region quiet as well. It's just eerily quiet. Notice that? It's very absent of earthquake activity. I've got to watch areas that are kind of lighting up, and that's this area around the middle of America Trench. Uh, but goodness. All right. Well, uh, north of the Himalayas here as well, into uh, well away from the plate boundary into the China region, seeing a 4.4. That was from this afternoon. But not a whole lot of newer activity kicking up here currently in this area. Mediterranean, fairly quiet. couple twos, including a 1.2 that just came in. Uh, the Atlantic Ocean, calm and clear. So, wow. I mean, it's just eerily quiet. We'll continue to watch this, though, of course, and see how uh, it plays out overnight. Normally, when there's calmness like this, uh, that something's getting ready to uh, pop up here. All right, uh, quick glance here at Yellowstone National Park. Uh, just give this a quick overview. Doesn't look like there's too much activity. There's that three-pointer, 3.6 in uh, Idaho that showed up here across a good portion of the stations. 
But for the most part, uh, no activity locally at the Yellowstone region. Space weather activity dwindling down as well. Notice there's a whole lot of greenery on the map. Well, that tells us and uh, tells you guys that space weather activity is currently in a, uh, a lull, so to speak. Very quiet conditions uh, right now. It shows 99% chance for a C flare, M flare at 15, X flare 1% chance. And the sunspots out here are just quickly fading away, kind of like dust in the wind. Except uh, not a whole lot of dust out there on the sun. Not a whole lot of uh, further sunspot regions out there on the eastern limb of the sun either. Uh, let's see what we got for UV filter ray activity. Maybe way out there. Uh, can see a little bit of uh, brightness in the magnetic structures here on the extreme far side, eastern side of the sun. But uh, again, we won't know until we get a better look at them here in the days ahead. No major aurora forecast tonight, folks. Things are very minimal. Uh, weather conditions here right now. Um, over the next couple days, mostly areas of the south getting in on some of the activity. Only a slight risk here, it looks like, for tomorrow. 2% chance for tornado probabilities. For the most part, this time of year, uh, get some good-sized hail, hail taking place out there in the, the hatch zone, looking at potential two inch diameter hail or larger within 25 miles of a point all right so let's see here yeah the, i'm just i'm about ready to go outside here and see what we got for storms coming up uh they're coming down out of the mountains right now uh i think they will kind of last here into the uh the valley area notice some lightning strikes taking place here just outside of chico and uh there's a lot of moisture coming behind that so i think this will make its way um down into the valley fairly sufficiently we'll keep an eye on that if it comes into anything major uh we'll of course live stream it as i tend to do uh yeah for the most part folks uh, we'll catch you guys back here tomorrow just wanted to get a quick update in and then i'm going to go outside and fight some bugs the bugs have been horrible this year uh, due to all the rainfall and and lack of extreme heat a lot of times the heat will come in and it will just kill off a lot of these bugs that are moisture dependent. Uh, but we got a lot of, I don't know what they are. They last for a couple nights and then they fade away and then a whole new swarm comes in. It's not mosquitoes or mosquitoes are surprisingly very minimal right now. But I'm sure that's just a little calm before the swarm, so to speak. All right, guys, have a good night. Please stay safe out there and... Um, yeah, we'll keep an eye on, uh, I guess right now, worldwide. Things are very quiet with a little uptick, like I mentioned here, across the Caribbean plate. A lot of squeezing going on here across that area. Have a good night, folks. Catch you later.